Busy Body Mommy. I just wanted to kind of show you guys real quick in a video because it's kind of hard to show in pictures how to blend the watercolor pencils. But um, these were just what they had at Michael's craft store. Any craft store that carries any of your supplies should have some of these. If not, I'm pretty sure you can find them online. Michael's has an online store. And I wanted to start out that the picture is acrylic. You want to keep acrylic paint first on your canvas. Um, do your hand prints and everything. These, this, excuse me, is my watercolored pencil. And I traced and matched my colors as best as I can to each petal that I thought would look nice. This petal has a different color. This one has a different color. So does this one. And I've used a brush here. The brush is not a square, but it's kind of like an oval kind of uh, pencil or not pencil but paintbrush and this is what I use to blend. I like this one in particular it's my favorite but you may have something different. I also used a, a marker that has two different ends. One is bold one is thin. That's what I use to do my writing with across my uh, portrait here or not my portrait but my painting. And I also cut out my words off of a computer for You Are My Sunshine song. Didn't have any carbon paper, but I wanted to show you that if you color on the back with pencil and you use a pencil or a pen to do your outline, you get this that copies on top of the canvas right there. Then you take your pen and then you start writing out. That's the best I did. For me, I liked it. Um, but I did make sure that the whole phrase of the song was outlined all the way around the picture. And it's kind of, it, it, if you can see, it looks really good. It kind of equals out. It's not shorter on one side. Now, let's get to the painting part. What I do is I wet my pen, or my pen, my paintbrush, excuse me. And I dry it out just a little bit. After I dry it out, I want to go over here to where I have my pencil mark and I want to start painting that. It smooths around really good. I do want to dry out my brush just a little bit. If it's too watery, it just smears and it just becomes a mess. Push, you could push that color out if you feel like you've gotten it too far inside your uh, petal and it should work out for you. If you've got too much going on, too much color that was blending in and it's drowning out the true color of your petal, all you do is just kind of wet it down a little bit Take your towel, do some dabbing, and you're pretty much taken care of. Um, same here. If you don't like this particular blend or don't like how these petals are together, again, just take it, dab it, and there you go. And you can start over and add more. That is basically how simple it is. You just keep drawing it on there and blending. Now, I did want to show you that where it has shadows at. There are some parts in this that I had to add a little bit of color because, you know, the kids are spaced out a little bit. So we want to make sure that we keep the depth there. So you may have to add more of this color to this right here. I kind of want to pat it in just a little bit. You may have to spread some color through there. You may have to add more to it as time goes on. That probably wasn't the best color to use, but I just want to show you that. If you get it wet, it, it kind of gives the petals a little bit of a shadow there. It will dry lighter. That's one thing about watercolor. When you have overlapping pet, uh, petals like this, always try to outline those overlapping petals. Try and keep that a little dry. And there you go. You've got the outline of that petal, and you, then you have this petal right here. And you can see the difference. You can see where one overlaps the other. That's really about it. And overall, this is how it looks. I'm pretty happy with it, and I hope my mother-in-law, my stepmom, and my mom enjoy this, and we had fun. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.